What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today what we're gonna be going over is one of my long time clients, one of my longest clients that has been in my book over 12 years, consistently came to me. Uh, so today I wanted to film this haircut for you guys. The thing that I like about this cut that we're gonna go over is that there's a lot of different aspects to John's hair that could be tricky for some people. So we're gonna get really into detail with this haircut. It's a basic haircut for men, but we're gonna get uh, very detailed so that you can understand fully everything that I'm doing in the cut. Hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Uh, here we go with our step-by-step, -step. thanks. All right, guys, so we're going to start off our haircut on John. And the thing I like to do uh, before I start the haircut is separate the top and the bottom. What that helps me do is kind of divide uh, where I want that weight line to sit. Um, so we're going to start off with our two guard. This is a plastic guard, so it's different than the metal guards. Uh, make sure um, as you're working through, you pick the right tool with the right length. Uh, and also understand that um, every two guard is not going to look the same on everybody's head because John has pretty uh, high density on the side of his head and then a little bit lower density on the top. So we're going to work our way through the sides. You can see how I rock out as I'm uh, going through with the clipper. So I just pull away uh, wherever I want to start to leave that weight line. Now I'm going to leave the weight line a little bit heavier. We're going to go through with some clipper over comb later on. Uh, so I just work through, figure out where I want that weight line to sit, uh, what works best with his head shape. Um, as you're looking at John, I think one thing that I've uh, worked on throughout the years of doing his hair is that it's a pretty standard haircut like we talked about, but um, it, it has to work with his head shape. So he has a little bit longer head, so I wanted to drop that weight line a little bit lower. Um, and then work through the top and I don't want the top to live too high because that'll make his head look longer as well So I just work my way through um, Building up that weight line right on the sides keeping it nice and sleek though Because um, I don't want his head to look super wide and uh, going through with the haircut I think that's the thing that separates Hairdressers from you know, just people trying to cut hair at home you you need to understand um, what it's doing on the head shape. It's not just going through and cutting with the two guard and getting it over with. Um, it's really, there should be a lot of thought going into what you want your guest's head shape to look like. So now I'm going through clipper over comb. So we start off with our Andis Master Series clipper with the plastic guards. Now this is a, uh, the Andis Supra ZR. I went through with the triple zero blade uh, and worked clipper over comb. And now I'm going through with my Andis T trimmer. Um, I just happen to really like these tools. I use different brands and different things when I do men's cuts, but um, these seem to be my three go-to tools um, that Anda sent me, so uh, I like to use them. We go through with the T trimmer. One thing that you're going to notice, I do round off that corner. I don't like it to square off too much, especially with John's head. Um, so I go through, just round that corner slightly, uh, but not too extreme as well. And then I just take it a little bit tighter uh, with a little trimmer over comb after I get it cut. So I'll go down the line, follow his hairline, and then I'll use the trimmer uh, just to glide over the comb after that, which will take it a little bit tighter to the skin, helps it live a little bit longer, helps it look a little more natural. So now I'm gonna go through and cut the guideline for the top of the head. What I'm gonna do is follow the round of his head throughout the top. And what that's going to do is leave a little bit of extra length, but not too much length at that recession point where his hair goes back a little bit. I want to leave a little extra weight. And also, we're going to pop the front of his hair up just a little bit, so I want to pick my length for that. Then I go through horizontally all the way down the head and meet up with that guideline. So start in the back, pick my length there. Then I work my way across the round of the head and, um, and connect it to the very front. And I'm going to work that in a um, traveling guide across the top of the head, and then I'll check it um, vertically as I go through. Some of you guys might look at this as vertically, so you know, just take it however you were taught 
in that way, but just I work my way across the head one way towards the forehead, which connects my guideline, and then I'll go through the opposite way at the very end to do some texturizing as well. So the one key thing that I want you guys to notice here is I talk about combing a lot and how important combing is to consistency within a haircut. I'm combing the hair towards the center. On the other side, I was doing the same thing. Now when I go to this side, now I'm pushing the hair away from my body towards my guideline, which keeps the hair consistent. It's also important to do that with men's hair, then go through and create your texture. So now we're gonna go through with a point cutting technique. I'm also using my DB20 scissor from Mizutani. It's a 5.7 inch scissor. Um, I always talk about this being my go-to scissor. There's a lot of power in it. Um, if I was doing scissor over comb, I would go with something a little bit longer, but I could also use the DB20 for that. So if you do a lot of barbering work, maybe go with the 6.2, 6.7 inch um, to work through that way. Little detail on the front. Now I'm gonna go through using the YS Park 339 comb to really just kind of comb the hair as I blow it dry to smooth it down. We've now shampooed John's hair, got all the loose hairs out, give him a little hot towel treatment, and now I go through and I give him his finished style look. So we just go through. I'm using the nozzle of the blow dryer to push his hair where I want it. Um, that's a very, very key component with men's hair and women's hair, but a lot of men don't think of it that way and they don't use a blow dryer. So we go through, we blow dry it exactly how we want it, then we add the product and we get our finished look. So once I get that product worked through his hair, then I'm gonna take the comb and I'm gonna actually place the hair exactly where I want it. So that will finish off uh, the entire look. All right guys, there's our end result on John. We got a nice sleek haircut, fits his head shape really well, um, nice textured top to it. Um, let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more of these salon reality type haircuts on my clients. I can definitely put out more of these type of videos. So let me know. All right, guys, if you like John's cut, then make sure you post that in the comments below. I'd love to see that. Also, if you made it this far in the video, I love seeing that as well. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and share this video with all of your friends out there. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and the support. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.